Earlier on today, diversified financial services company Alexander Forbes, formerly listed on the JSC Securities Exchange, had its results presentation. These results were to the end of March 2013, and I popped over there to catch up with the CEO, Edward Kiesvetter. Here's that conversation. Well, Alexander Forbes is a diversified financial services company. Our biggest division is financial services. It's um, in South Africa, mainly. Um, and within Alexander Forbes Financial Services, we have the Employee Benefits Wealth and Administration, uh, sorry, the Employee Benefits Advice and Administration business. That's largely pension funds designing those schemes and then also administering schemes. Then there's the Wealth Management business, that's for individuals, financial planning and wealth creation. And then thirdly, there's the Life Company, um, selling group life insurances, but also to individuals, um, life products. That's the biggest division. The second is investment solutions. Investment solutions is an asset multi-manager. So we're not an asset manager, but we're the manager of managers. We, our core competency there is picking um, asset managers that produces um, good returns for our clients. Um, and there also it's an advice and administration business. Um, the third business is short-term insurance. Um, that sells um, insurance products to individuals, the normal comprehensive motor and household insurance, but also sells to business insurance, um, a business that we started a year ago. And then the fourth business is guard risk, which is a cell captive insurer. The Americans call it rent a cell, which really is um, um, a business who wants to transfer risk um, in an alternative way other than holding it onto its balance sheet, for example, will create um, a special purpose vehicle and use the guard risk license to provide its insurance protection that it requires. Those are the four main lines of businesses. Obviously, the bulk of that sits in South Africa. Then we have an AfriNet division that holds our companies outside of South Africa. Um, and at the moment, that's predominantly in Botswana, in Namibia, um, in Kenya, in Uganda, uh, we are in Zimbabwe, uh, Zambia, Malawi, plus um, Uga um, Nigeria. Post the sale of risk services businesses, we are out of Tanzania. We have just um, exited from uh, Mozambique as well. Okay, we'll get and to then, as many of those divisions as we can. I know you've got UK and then we have and the Europe European as well. uh, and UK. Exactly. Let's have a look at the numbers there if we can. These are the numbers to the year to the end of March. Uh, income up 13% to 4.4 billion. Operating profit to 75 million, and that's from an 80 million loss. From continuing operations, your profit was up 9% to 1.1 billion before non trading items. I'm not an accountant. Maybe you could simplify <laughs> these numbers for me. You know, uh, accountants don't simplify it, accountants uh, complicate it. So let me give you a very simple layman's version. If you look at our effort, our effort produces the top line revenue. We have seen healthy growth, um, double digit growth, and then our normalized trading profit of about 14%. Um, and I'll explain to you what that means, but that is if you want to measure the business in terms of its effort year on year, it has grown by 14%. Now, a couple of things then happens that produces an accounting result as opposed to a, an actual result. Firstly, there is um, adjustments for the lease provisions, and there's a new way of accounting for it, and we have moved uh, from one building into a new building, so ironically, our overall expenses for our building on a cash basis is actually less, but the accounting thereof is worse um, in the transition here. Secondly, we've also um, sold a number of businesses, which commercially was the right decision, but in businesses that have high intellectual property, when you sell a business, you have to write off some of that, and that gives you an accounting loss. Um, and all, again, it's an accounting as opposed to a cash effect. And then thirdly, there's also, um, our business is highly leveraged because of the, um, the private equity uh, investment at the moment. Uh, so a large portion of our cash actually then goes to pay and keep the bankers um, happy. Uh, so that's what we do. 
I understand now the reference then for to continuing so, so, operations. So, yes. yeah. so ultimately, if you put in the finance, tax, and accounting effect, you then get to a loss. Um, but people who understand that those are accounting adjustments mainly, and obviously the real impact of finance charges and the real impact of tax um, would measure the business at the normalized trading profit. Okay, the one division that we know best at CNBC Africa is investment solutions coming within the financial services division, of course. So maybe let's start with investment solutions. A good solid year from what I can see and assets under management growing very nicely. Yes, I think we a number of successes there. Uh, firstly, the, the fact that we introduced a new business in the last year, which is really administering or what is commonly known in the marketplace as a platform business. And that is providing um, investment administration business as opposed to advice business. Um, and in just in that business in the first year, we were able to build um, just over 11 billion rand of assets. Um, and then clearly in terms of the institutional businesses, a continued uh, and steady growth in that market. And then of course we also benefit by the growth in the market. So for the first time uh, a year ago we crossed the uh, 200 billion assets and this year we sit um, around 238 billion of assets. So we've had a good year, a solid year. In addition to that, we've also improved the administration platform over a number of years. We've invested um, significantly in that um, and that also improves the level of service and quality. You know, in times when you have negative investment performance and the entire market suffers, clients understand that but clients don't understand poor service. And so therefore we've invested a lot in providing um, great service, great reporting ability, um, and you know we do daily unit pricing, and we're able to also give accurate and real-time reporting to our clients.